hello guys welcome back and on today's episode i'm gonna be making my anti-aging face and body cream with retinol and collagen now who remembers this base that i told you guys that i made with olivine 1000 and um the emulsification was really great yeah i'm using it today and i'll just be using just 250 grams of the screen base because i am making 300 grams of my anti-aging face and body cream i promised i'll share the recipe for this base maybe in another video not now anyway but i'm certainly gonna share it all right so this is my cream base so welcome back to my channel i'm sorry if i've not welcomed you um thanks for joining us on this episode today if, if you're new on this channel please do also hit the subscribe button and always stay with us put on your notification bell so you can always get a post whenever i upload and if you're a returning subscriber always remember that i got you so back to our recipe today i'm just gonna try my best to be fast the first ingredient i'll be adding here in my cream base is my retinol powder the retinol powder is a derivative of vitamin a it is a very potent powder and it's effective in giving a slight exfoliation help to smoothen the skin reduce wrinkles and fine lines help to build collagen and the end result of retinol is always a younger looking skin free of wrinkles and lines because retinol tends to go deep into the epidemics to effect its work it doesn't just work on the surface of the skin. Retinol can also be irritant to our skin, especially when it's used at overdose. Now, retinol is supposed to be used within the range of 0.02% to 0.2%. Get that? This is not 2%, okay? 0.2% should be the least. Else, it may be irritant to the skin. And it's also advised that when using retinol, use it for about 5 days to 7 days and see if it will give you any reaction on the skin before you continue using it also do not forget that retinol is different from retinyl palmitate which is the main vitamin a vitamin a is water soluble while retinol is oil soluble here i'm adding three grams of oil to dissolve my retinol powder make sure that your powder is fully dissolved before transferring this into your cream base So after this, I'm going to come in with the mixture of my propylene glycol and my Jamal Plus preservative. I'll be using 10 grams here, consisting of 2 grams of Jamal Plus preservative and 8 grams of propylene glycol. This propylene glycol will be an enhancer for us so that the ingredients in the in this cream can, can have a good penetration into the skin. And the next ingredient here is my collagen powder. Here, I'll be using 5 grams of collagen powder. In this recipe and then i'm going to be dissolving my collagen powder with 10 grams of sunflower oil and then also allow this to mix very well and to fully dissolve before transferring this into a cream base this collagen powder is a powder that will help skin elasticity as we all know and it will assist the retinol in building up more collagen that the skin needs. Collagen will help to smoothen the skin. We help to reduce whatever wrinkles, fine lines, or whatever that may be on the skin. It will help to reduce stretch mark because it helps to firm the skin. Instead of being stretched, collagen will help us to firm the skin back. That is one main reason for collagen and it's really, really important for our skin, our knees, our hair, whatever. So if you are considering an anti-aging product, I also recommend that you take collagen supplements with it so that they can both work from inside and outside. I'll also be going in with my vitamin E oil. Here I'll be going in with 10 grams of vitamin E oil. Um, this will serve as an antioxidant and also to suit the skin and give the body a finishing glow even as we are trying to fight aging. That is why I used up to 10 grams. Now, if you want this cream to be both for anti-aging and also to brighten the skin, you can go ahead and add um, any other brightening actives to this. This particular recipe can be used by both dark skinned and light skinned and virtually all skin types because there are no actives that will actually brighten or whatever. It's just the anti-aging um, actives that are in this. So I'm fine by this because I know that retinol will actually help to brighten the face too. 
and also i'm making this product for my mom and she has other brightening products to use with this so i may not be needing any brightening ingredients in this so i'll just go ahead to add my fragrance here i'm using a lavender mist with vanilla fragrance because um, retinol actually smells kind of awful and i don't like the smell so if you do not use a good fragrance for this you may end up smelling retinol 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 i would also want to change the color of my cream to yellow because i just didn't want a white cream so i'll just go and add some yellow color pigment i advise that you mix your pigment actually with oil before you dissolve it very well before transferring into your cream but because i was in a hurry and my mom was standing right in front of me asking me to mix her cream so that's why i actually did this in a hurry if you watch closely i did it in a hurry the ph of this product should be about 4.5 to 7.5 this is where it can be most effective so after mixing very well my cream is ready beautiful yellow color cream so textured containing retinol powder and collagen powder excellent for all skin types and if you're interested in where you can get quality active ingredients and all ingredients for your skincare production kindly get into the description box i'm going to send a link down there where you can get all of it so i'm just going to bring in my container she actually brought in an empty container from her house down here i mean my mom so i'm just going to transfer this into the container and voila my anti-aging cream is ready so simple natural ingredients not going to cause any effect to you to your skin and whatever so creamy so beautiful if this is helpful to you do well to give me a thumb up subscribe to this channel for more amazing recipes turn the notification bell so that you can always get our post leave any question down there in the comment section follow us on all social media handles and always stay with us because i hope to see you in my next video let's say goodbye for now bye